Alright guys, what we are doing today, Nala, calm down, my dogs right now, they're barking at a crab trap boy. Forgive them, they're still young, but anyway, we're throwing the Matrix Minnow, first cold front of the year, pretty chilly this morning, got the sweater out, uh, this one I gotta put on the measuring stick. But we did release one this morning. Didn't have the camera out yet. You're gonna see in this next clip right here. Look at this monster that we caught. First fish of the morning. Wasn't expecting to shoot a Dockside TV. End up catching one of the biggest fish I've caught in over a year on this Matrix Minnow. Just a totally awesome fish. And now we're starting to catch these things pretty good. Decided to flip on the camera. Let's go ahead and make a dockside TV and show you guys how effective these Matrix minnows are. Yeah. All right, guys, just caught this on the Matrix minnow. Kept this fish alive. Picked up my wife to release it. Come watch. We used to catch these all the time this size, but nowadays this is a very, you know, this we just don't catch these very often at all. So come check this out on the release. I highly recommend releasing these big girls if you get lucky enough to catch one. Just be very delicate with it. Something to hold the fish by his lips. Always is good when you do catch a big one. Try not to manhandle him enough. There he goes. For you guys to catch, I'm going to go over to set up on what we, I caught that fish on just now. I haven't caught one big like that in over a year. That fish was right at five pounds. We got our new Matrix rod. This thing is perfect for fishing deep water jigs. And it's a medium with a fast tip. Really good for making long distance casts and throwing jerk baits. This is our Matrix Minnow. I just worked with some shorelines. We had a huge front or a big front for us. Lately, it's been so hot. Come through, I'm fishing in the middle of the front. Big north winds. Figured I'd go take a peek. It's actually a pretty nice day. Feels good outside considering the winds. Take a peek. I've only been out there about 30 minutes. Caught one fish. Thought for sure it was a red because we haven't been seeing any big trout. And what do you know, a five pounder. So, took some good pictures. The new rod is uh, definitely got broke in today. And the Matrix Minnow, I'll go over this all the time. If you want to catch big trout, this lure is awesome. Not as big as the one you saw us release earlier in that last clip, but this is the size of fish we've been catching. These things love these jerk baits, and whenever we get the first front of the year, when I got to put that sweatshirt on, and I'm legitimately chilly. 
that first September, October front, depending on what time of the year it is, that's when I tie on these jerk baits. All of these man-made canals on the North Shore, Pontchartrain, all of the bayous, Liberty, Lacombe, they come to life. These jerk baits are deadly. Sometimes we got a lot of grass on the banks. Not too much grass this year, but these fish were just focusing on dead ends, trying to stay out of the wind. It's blowing about 20 out the north, catching these trout. What you want to do is you want to throw it up towards the bank and rip it, always with the rod tip down. Not even let me explain it to you. Hold up, Simba. You don't want them treble hooks in your mouth, buddy. Well, what you want to do is you want to throw it up towards the bank. You want to rip it pretty hard the first couple rips, come off that bank. And when you rip this matrix minnow, this thing slow sinks and that lip will dig it down. So these fish are sitting in like eight foot of water and you want to rip this thing down about three to five foot and then pause it. Give it a good two to three second pause and then rip it again and then pause it. You want to you want to continuously pause it throughout your retrieve and that's a lot of times that's when they hit it. It's when the lure's just sitting there slowly sinking. That's when they hit it and they'll straighten all your line out. This is one of my favorite things to do in all of fishing. Let's catch these trout on jerk baits. Just doesn't get any better than this. The way they just tattoo that thing when it's sitting there is so it's so much fun. And this is a great way to catch a big one, as you saw earlier. That was a pretty big fish. Pretty awesome. Alright, when you're throwing suspended jerk baits, color isn't in my opinion that that important it's a presentation thing and when these fish are suspended that's what they want that was the marsh cricket we caught the last several on i'm going to switch it over to the nightmare right here and what this is a great rod for that matrix rod that we built this is great for jigging deep water but it's also great for working these jerk baits this thing's very versatile Good for a lot of different styles of fishing. Awesome for these jerk baits. I'm using our Matrix Fluoro. I highly recommend Fluoro for jerk bait fishing. I really only like throwing these Matrix minnows if the water's clean, like cleaner than normal, like good green clean water. And when you're fishing water that clean, you're going to want to use the fluoro, the matrix fluoro. Good stuff. Let's put the nightmare to the test now. Let it rip. All of our colors and the matrix uh, minnow, they all are super effective. We'll be giving out these in the matrix bait box. Different colors. Golly. Oh, wow. Had one on. He came off. I looked down. Another one grabbed it. I could see him flashing on it. Be careful with this too. The line, when you get a hit, sometimes the line will uh, get wrapped around a hook. You cannot have that. It needs to be, don't make, it needs to make sure it's not hitting a hook or it'll, uh, it's not going to swim correctly. Rip, 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 pause. Rip, 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 pause. Head on in here. There we go. It's a nice one. What you think, Simba? <laughs> oh, he's croaking. You hear that sound? He's still in that spawning ritual. Got a grunt. Got a male here. I can hear him grunting. Feel him grunting in my hands. Just want to be careful with these trebles. Nice little male trout on the Nightmare, Matrix Minnow, having a blast right now. This rod here, it's got a real good backbone to 
where when you hit a fish, you can control him, but up towards the tip of it, it's got a lot of good play. That way you can whip the rod real good, make good casts. When you're twitching that bait, it's got a lot of action. We, we designed this specifically for the things that we like to do here. Fantastic rod. I'm really in love with this thing. Alright guys, we're going to end it on this one. We almost got a limit here. That live well is getting full. We even did some catch and release earlier as we caught that really big beautiful trout. Everything today, one lure used, or two colors, the Nightmare, the Marsh Cricket, the Matrix Minnow. We got three other colors. We're going to be sending a little bit of all of the colors out in this monthly bait box. Enjoy this bait box. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to the uh, Matrix Bait Box and get your hands on these suspended jerk baits, guys. And until next time, good fishing.